Uh, 6.41, good morning. Now, did you know there are over 7,500 tonnes of junk floating around in space? And now the world's most advanced litter picker has begun the clean-up operation. A British satellite has successfully deployed a net into orbit, which can then pull the debris back into the Earth's atmosphere where it's burnt up. We're joined now by Professor Gianglietti, a director of the Surrey Space Centre. Morning to you. Good Thank morning. You. Hello. Thank Hello. you very much. Um, let's first, before we talk about how you're going to solve this problem, yeah. talk about the size of the problem. How much rubbish is out there? Well, as you said, there are several tons because we have worked in space for several decades. There are a lot of old satellites that are no longer working and clearly they stay there in the orbit. And so we have to start thinking about the problem because when we put in orbit new satellites, they risk to be hit by these pieces of debris. Mm. So how big, uh, I know our pictures here have got some sort of, I don't know how, how real yes, true there is, is to life. Well, this is maybe a bit of a, an exaggeration, but there is a, a bit of everything from old satellites that really no longer work, the mm. size of a bus, down to bits and pieces of uh, previous satellites that maybe have collided and therefore break up in pieces, and down to pieces like a, a flake of paint. But because they travel really fast, even the smallest object when it hits a new satellite, could produce significant damage. Right. Um, and yes, talk about, so um, you sort of assume that space is a large place, don't you? Yes, exactly. And I think because it's such a large space, before maybe people were a bit relaxed, that there was a lot of space, so we can, you know, leave stuff there and it yeah. can be okay. But now there is, again, enough stuff and there is a, a problem because you could have a collision and this collision could then break the colliding parts in smaller elements and so you have like a cloud of debris that then could eat other debris yeah. and so you have like a snowball effect like a chain reaction and so you would end up polluting a, an entire orbit. Mm. So we've got like a big sort of space net behind us there. Is, yes. is, is that essentially how it works? You just sort of fire well, that we, out and Well, catches... we, we are, we, with our consortium, is, uh, we are leading a, a group of 10 entities, you know, European companies. And uh, so what we are demonstrating is a possible technology to capture some of these debris. And we try to look at cost-effective technologies like a net. So the idea is that you cast the net, you capture your piece of debris, satellite, and then you would deorbit together, so you burn into the atmosphere. Okay, so it's very, uh, you can quite clearly see it sort of capturing um, the debris and then what, it just pulls it down to earth? Well, in practice, yes, it slows it down. Yeah. Okay, so what we have demonstrated with our experiment last night is just this capture, yeah. but when this will be done, you know, for real, the idea is that the spacecraft that captured the debris then will deorbit together with the debris that has been captured. Right. So what we have demonstrated was just the phase of the capture, okay. the net enveloping the object. And in our case, we actually had released our own artificial piece of debris that then we have recaptured. Mm -hmm. And you said it's quite a few partners, and some of these are really big businesses across Europe. Is oh, that yes. because they're thinking, you know, 20, 30, 40, 50 years into the future? Yeah, or maybe even earlier yeah. than that. Yes, is, as I said, is, is a partnership sponsored by the European Commission. Uh, some of our partners are Surrey Satellite Technologies in Guildford, Airbus, various parts of Airbus. Actually, the net experiment has been produced by Airbus in Germany. There is Airbus France, so it's a European mm. partnership. And the idea is that we are uh, demonstrating this technology so in future can be really used to go and capture real pieces of debris. So our industrial partner can make a business out of this one in years mm. to come. Right. Um, it's absolutely fascinating talking to you. So when might it be in operation, this? If it, if it, if you... Well, I think the, 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 the issue will be then to convince the various entities, governments, agencies and so on, to actually fund some of these mm. missions because it's a bit like the problem with cleaning the ocean and so on. Mm -hmm. We all know that it would be a good idea to do these missions in order to clean up space, but who is going to pay for it? This. So yeah. that will be a, an interesting conversation. Oh, it's, it's an interesting conversation anyway. <laughs> uh, thank you very much indeed for coming to talk to us. Thank Pleasure. you. Pleasure. Thank, thank you. you. It's fascinating, isn't it? Uh, quarter to seven this morning. Let's find out what's happening uh, in the weather on Earth for us today. That is a magnificent wave behind you there. Morning. Certainly is, yeah. Very